Hey guys, it's me, Neon Jacket, and I am bringing you a video on Progenistic. Now, this is like a... It's a spiritual haunting type game where you go in and you try and solve certain puzzles. It is a little jump scare-ish. It is also a very interesting looking game. You have to puzzle out all this ritualistic stuff, and it's pretty in-depth. There's chapters as well. All of the stories mentioned in the game are fictional, and a resemblance to the biography, I can read the rest. I have heard how my parents died. My brother and I were sitting in a locked bedroom, and could only listen. We heard the knife stabs until their screams stopped. The police decided that our parents were accidentally killed during the robbery. I never believed it. In our neighborhood, no one had any money, especially immigrants like us. After a month in the orphanage, we were picked up by the only remaining relative in the States, a woman named Randolph, a medium, our grandmother. Our mom never talked about her and hid away her letters without opening them. I think that Mrs. Randolph thought that she cared about us. She taught us. I still remember rituals, prayers, and constant promises to reveal what happened to our parents. But later, it was always later, when will we be ready? My brother was the first one to escape. He joined the police force. I left her after. I, like my mother before, did not respond to her letters. They were just another promise to reveal some secret if I came back. When they stopped, I sighed with relief, finally. A local lawyer visited us shortly after. Grandmother was killed, stabbed with a knife. They suspect a robbery. The voices of my parents came back, and they are not alone. Our town is eating itself. Death comes for our people, for my friends, and I can't take it anymore. Grandmother was trying to understand what was wrong. She tried to tell us, and I'm starting to believe her. She solved crimes. She helped the police to find the perpetrators. I have to take her place. I have to go back to her house. Well, all right. Oh, this house looks wonderful. <clears throat> Prologue, personal case. Now, yeah, this game is, like, chapter-based. Grab the tables and take the documents. Hold on, let me... Uh, let's turn this up a little bit. There we go, okay. Go to the table, take the document, the left mouse button, and interact with items. Your brother is a police officer who needs your help every day. He will send you new crime cases. Your goal is to solve it. You can use your divination rituals to uncover new clues. Once you find the culprit, fill out the report, send it to your brother. Solve the test case to convince your brother to for your help. All right. Oh. Tab. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> First name Patrick. Willis. Date of birth unknown. 13 years old. Okay. Suspect. Good vigilant boy, but he fell with a bad company. I'm confused. He's like a child. How do I close it? Why did you come back? We've been watching this old woman go crazy through all our childhood, and now you want to take her place. What are you doing? Oh, fine. You want to help me. Do you want me to help you? Then let's conduct a small test. Make an invocation to the souls of the dead and tell me. Oh, great, Sierra, which the neighborhood kids broke my window. Okay. Hello? Go to the next room to find the ritual candle. Press F. Aha! Divinations can only work while the ritual candle is lit. Light a candle by using instructions from the book. Hold right down the book. The candle is a conductor. 
A whisper of the candle path to the unknown. It provides contact with the spirit world. Rituals only work while the candle is burning. As soon as the contact is established, the light of all candles will change to blue. As soon as the candle goes out, connection will be interrupted and rituals will become impossible. At this moment, all candles will change their light from blue to yellow. You can find spare candles next to the candlestick. Remove the extinguished one and light a new one to reestablish the connection. Can she said the candlesticks are where? Oh, that's nice. I think you're a little infested. Hold on. Next to the candlestick. Doors of all ritual rooms are marked with clues. Find a room with a wall map. It has symbol of a compass. So, symbol of a compass. That'd be a compass, right? Uh huh. In order to make the ritual map work, press Q. To Dousing rods. Oh yeah, I know these. Press Q to pull them out. Place the file on the suspect on the stand. It is located in next to the map. Follow the instructions. Let me light that. Make sure the ritual candle is lit. Put the person's dossier next to the map. Choose the time of the calendar, year, month, date, and hour. Hover divine rods over the map. Okay, hold on. Choose the time on the calendar. Let's see. How am I supposed to know the time? Send a clue about his location at 14th of December. Fourteenth of December nineteen oh two. Okay, hold on. Now we'll go back to one. Four. 1902 at 13 hour. Bam, bam, okay. Over the Dead. Well, now I'm a little confused. Okay, so we need to relight this. Bam. Alright, now let's go. Let's go figure this out. Right. So there was. Are all three of them lit? Yeah. Okay. Date still set. I'm confused. It says... Ah. Patrick. Ah ha ha. Bar he was here. Okay. So, now, Zachary. Where were you, Zachary? Not up there. There. Okay. Now, Ch -ch 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 Harrison. Oh, yeah. I feel like this murderer. 
suspect. Yep. Okay. Now this dude, he, he is. Innocent. This guy's innocent too. Okay. After finding the culprit, you may return to the hallway and fill out your report. It lies on the table. Bam, bam. Is it right? Is it right? Her methods are working. Who would have thought? Well, okay, if you're so anxious to find out what's wrong with our town, let's work on it together. Okay, so this is like a crime-solving game? Interesting. Gift from God. I was allowed to take part in preparation for a major court hearing on the outskirts of town at 18 Barnhill Street lies the Fulton Farm. Home for a close and deeply religious family, as it turned out, they were too religious. Earlier this year, one of them murdered their youngest relative in their home as a sacrifice. All of the Fultons now cover the murder, but only one of them made the sacrifice. I don't, I don't even know who was in the house trying to use the dowser to find the murderer. Alright, let's, let's do this, so, put this here, light that, I'll open that, oh look, we have lights now, it's no longer dark anymore, come in here, this is still lit, now, we're gonna come here, And they remarked with the dowsing rod sign. Oh, so we're going to a new room, huh? Ooh. What? I'm confused. Hold on. Okay. Dowsing rods, dowsing rods. Dowsing rods. Where would that be? Sense. Dowsing rods, dowsing rods. Let's check back here. I don't like all the doors closing and opening. Are these supposed to be dowsing rods? Put the victim dossier. Place the victim on the stand. Okay, walk around the house crossing. That was rather rude. Go this way. Memorize it. Return to the dozen room and find out its meanings. Okay, so a clock. I don't like all the noises of doors closing when I'm not near it. Okay. Decipher the meaning of the object in the instruction book. Victims walk around the house, find out which object the rod intersects, memorize the object from this book. The rods start to rotate the ritual kind of find out the meaning of the item. The killer's feature on a nearby list. Someone got to talk to church first. Red, green, January. Birthmark burns. Uh, 
Fox murders 30 years or older. Okay. One of the mirrors has been opened. Excuse me? Now you are on your own. Solve the case. Excuse me? What does the mirror do? Ugh. I don't like this. Okay, we're gonna take this. Um. Hello? Huh. <sighs> So it's still the clock. So we're gonna go back. Yeah, go right here. We already have one clue. Find out the meaning of the item and mark the killers off. Okay, now we're gonna go to the dossier. He is 29, 28, 62, 66. Walk on the house cross the road. Mark the killer's feature on the nearby list. Is there any way to get a different item? How am I supposed? Then desert is to feature by using a dazzling send where the killer was during the murder the time of death is marked in the victim's dossier okay now that we can do so let's go back to the compass room and we are going to go over here we are going to put him on the stand first. Now we have to look at his case, January, which is the first, 8, 1904 at 11. 8, 1904 at 11. 1904, 1 at 11. Okay. Now, where did it happen? Eighteen Barnhill Street, Fulton Farm. Eighteen Barnhill Street, Fulton Farm. So it wasn't him, was it the was it her? Oh wow. Okay. Fulton. Murderer. Innocent. 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 Would you look at that? That's okay. So this game is rather interesting. And I'm gonna write that off as a clue. All right. So we are gonna run back over here and fill out the report. And this is for working with face. Okay. So this is just. Not evident. All right, dossier. Send the killer's dossier. Send his her distinctive feature by using the dazzling rock. Bam! Look at that. Got both clues. I heard something terrible today. I heard about one. Point. And Annabelle had to do it herself to appease the voice of God. This case gave me an idea about death of her grandmother. Strike different people should be different, right? I studied the autopsy results of our grandma and found a couple of oddities. 
Each stab was weaker than the previous one. In the course of the struggle, such a clear pattern is impossible. The direction of the blows also doesn't match up. They're too similar to a... Too similar and weird. Knife strikes are, were aimed at the chest area. The blade was directed not upwards or downwards, but almost perpendicular to the body. Maybe she was killed in her sleep, and the whole robbery was staged. If so, then someone was trying to disguise pre hope premeditated murder <laughs> who wished her death i will try to find the last people she spoke to now i'm not entirely sure what happened just a minute ago all that mirror stuff that didn't explain that through and through so i'm a little confused now i am gonna end it here on day two we I definitely enjoyed this game. If you guys want to see more, please like the video so I can tell and know to keep recording these. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, shine bright, neon bright.